Neogen's FAST meat speciation test procedure. This presentation is intended to familiarize viewers with the most accurate and efficient use of Neogen's FAST meat speciation test kits to detect target meat species in raw meat samples. Neogen offers FAST test kits for horse, pig, poultry, sheep, and cow. This presentation serves only as a visual guide to the written materials supplied with the test kit. To ensure accuracy in the performance of this test, please read and follow the test's written instructions in their entirety. If you have a question about any of the procedures demonstrated in this presentation, please contact Neogen. Materials provided each FAST test kit includes five packs of five FAST immunosticks. Each immunostick is in a color-coded tube containing a white plastic paddle coated with capture reagent specific for each species. Tube caps are color-coded according to test type. In this example, the cap is blue, which indicates we will be demonstrating a test for poultry meat. Each kit also includes a color-coded tube containing an enzyme reagent specific for each species and color development reagent tubes, which are not color-coded. A FAST accessory pack is provided with each kit and contains written test instructions, a worksheet, one dropper bottle of ABTS concentrate color reagent, one dropper bottle of stop solution, and 25 disposable pipettes. Materials required, but not provided. Sample extraction requires glass or plastic containers or stomacher bags. In this presentation, we will be using stomacher bags. A wash bottle filled with deionized water is recommended to perform the paddle washing steps, although paddles can be washed under cold running tap water. You will also need a scale to measure the sample, a graduated cylinder to measure water, and a timer. Sample Preparation Samples should be homogeneous. Combine a representative sample to approximately 10 times its weight of water and mix well. Minced or other similarly blended materials need no further preparation. Intact meats should be minced or finely chopped to improve the extraction process. After mixing, allow the extract to settle for two to three minutes. A layer of liquid or thin slurry may appear above the sample, which may or may not settle out. Use this liquid or slurry as the sample extract. Test Procedure To begin the test, gather the required number and species combination of immunosticks, enzyme reagent, and buffer tubes. Mark the tubes with sample identification. Prepare the color development reagent tubes by adding one drop of concentrated ABTS solution to the required number of color development reagent tubes and replace the caps. When using the dropper bottles, add drops by carefully inverting and squeezing gently so that a drop slowly forms at the end of the nozzle and falls into the appropriate tube. Unscrew the cap of the first immunostick tube. Using a clean disposable pipette, add six drops of sample extract to the liquid in the tube. Replace paddle and mix contents by screwing and unscrewing the tube's cap three or four times. Tighten cap and allow the tube to stand for ten minutes. Do not invert the tubes at any time. Add other sample extracts to immunostick tubes at one minute intervals and allow each to stand for 10 minutes. If the same extract is to be tested for other species, repeat additions to other immunostick tubes at one minute intervals. Discard pipette. In this presentation, we will be testing for poultry meat only. After the 10 minute incubation, remove the paddle and wash for 10 seconds ensuring that all the white plastic surfaces are washed. Shake to remove excess water. Do not reinsert the paddle into the immunostick tube. 
screw the washed paddle into an appropriate enzyme reagent tube and rotate cap to mix. Allow the paddle to stand in enzyme reagent tubes for 10 minutes. Repeat the process at minute intervals for all tubes, allowing each to stand in the enzyme reagent tubes for 10 minutes. Remove first paddle and wash for 30 seconds. Shake to remove excess water. Do not reinsert the paddle into the enzyme reagent tube. Remove cap from a prepared color development reagent tube and screw in washed paddle and rotate cap to mix. Allow paddles to stand in the tubes for 10 minutes. Repeat the process at minute intervals for all tubes, allowing each to stand in the color development reagent tubes for 10 minutes. Observe the tubes for a noticeable color change. Clear solution indicates a negative result, and pale to dark green solution indicates a positive result. Because the liquid in the sample remained clear in this demonstration, it contains less than 1% poultry. In these examples, because the tube on the right has turned a pale green, it is a positive result for containing at least 1% of poultry meat. The tube on the left, with its clear liquid, is below the limit of detection. Please refer to the test's written instructions to determine the test's results using a spectrophotometer. If you have a question about any of the procedures demonstrated in this presentation, please contact Neogen.